in its efforts to ensure a consistent flow of capital to support its environmental, social and governance projects. Telco service provider Safaricom has hinted at the possibility of issuing a green bond in the future. A revelation that comes on the back of a 15 billion shilling sustainability link facility that the telcos received. Jimmy Mbogo spoke to Safaricom Director of Sustainable Business and Social Impact, Karen Basir, as well as experts on the viability of a green bond and the current risk in the market. As the sustainability conversation takes center stage for business operations in the country, corporations are being forced to diversify their source of capital to fund impact-related projects. The case is no different for telco service provider Safaricom, which has now prepared a framework that could see the telco firm head to the capital market for funding through the issuance of a green bond, according to Safaricom Director of Sustainable Business and Social Impact, Karen Basie. The market is ready for another green bond issuance. What I can share is that I have developed the framework. The green bond framework is there. Just the same way we developed the sustainability link loan framework, the frameworks are in place. When the business is ready, they can take the green bond. I think the market is ready. The, 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 the securities exchange are ready. And it would be good if Safarico was the first one to do this around here also. Basia's sentiments come on the back of a 15 billion sustainability linked loan that the telco received from four financial institutions, which has been channeled towards the funding of greening of the telco's network. However, according to economist Chachi Lugutu, the corporate bond market in Kenya has been dormant and that could prove an uphill task for the telco in attracting investors upon issuance. Obviously, we'd expect them that they have had some pitches to potential investors uh, just to walk through them the sustainability agenda. So you can sort of assume that there is a critical mass that will be able to, that they are looking at before they even publicize uh, a particular issuance. So probably it will stem down to the use of proceeds. Basically, what are the projects that Safaricom intends to achieve? An issue that Safaricom hopes to navigate by targeting impact-driven investors. And you know the beauty of the Green Bond, when you look at uh, the framework we've developed for it, we are very clear where the money will go also into mm -hmm. enhancing our ESG and sustainability agenda. With interest rates volatility, Ogutu also warns of a lower coupon rate owing to the easing of monetary policy that could see the central bank cut rates further. This may disadvantage a delayed issuance by the telco as investors opt for higher returns in other markets. So far what you've seen, and largely the corporate bonds are below five years and below typically what we've seen, we, we have seen in the corporate bond issuer space. So that speaks to uh, a potentially lower interest rates uh, and issuance six months down the line as compared to right now. Jimmy Bogo, Citizen TV, Nairobi.